The first thing anyone in the compound knew about the attack was when the doors burst open and armed men burst through. The Libyan staff ran away and the attackers set fire to the guardhouse. Then they found behind the guardhouse some jerry cans full of fuel and they set off across the compound towards the villa. The villa was the ambassador's residence. One guard plus the ambassador plus Sean Smith ran inside and bolted the door. The guard then led them into a safe room, actually a series of rooms, within the villa which had been fortified and the gates barred and locked them in. The attackers got to the villa and used an RPG to blow in the front doors. They stormed inside, couldn't find anybody and couldn't get through to the safe room. The United States insists there was a major firefight that raged for nearly an hour across the compound. But when I went there the day after the attack, evidence of a battle was hard to find. Smoke had obviously poured from the windows engulfing the various buildings, but there were very few bullet holes. I could only find one impact from an RPG, which was the round used to blow open the front doors. If there were exchanges of fire, there's no evidence of either bullet holes or the casings. The only place where there was a serious firefight was the rear gate. I counted 23 rounds fired into the compound from outside and six rounds returned. But this firefight, serious as it must have been, appears nowhere in the official accounts.